That was a nice, beautiful beach. What's the name of that beach? Yeah, Billy Beach. Billy Beach. Billy it's beach. beautiful beach. A lot of people hanging out. Yeah. Maybe another day I check it out. Uh, I got a couple more days here. Me and Philly Don. Shout out to Philly yes. Don yeah. right here. And we we basically are trying to go to a a secluded island called Amiga Island or something like that. <laughs> but we're walking, driving through the, the the coastal line, northern coast of Haiti, enjoying the scene. We've been seeing nothing but mansions and everything. Yeah. Mansions, nice houses. Uh, the beach is beautiful. I'm still, I mean, Haiti has a lot of land and a lot of development to do, man. You get, look at this. This is the coastal side of uh, Haiti. of Haiti, man. North, northern coast. It's beautiful. It's just a, just beautiful, enjoyable, and. Um, that beach was nice, but we I think we're gonna go to a doper beach, fingers crossed, all right? But we might stop over there tomorrow uh, just to see the vibe of Billy Beach. It seems like a very popular beach for locals to go to. All right, guys, so we made it here. This is the area where we're gonna get into the boat. So let me show you a little bit of the area. All right, see the boats here? It's like a little dock area up here. And they have some interesting uh, boats here. Not your traditional boats you see. You've probably seen some of this stuff like in Cartagena or something. But uh, if you can see how clear this water is, just to indicate uh, what we are about to go get ourselves into. Look how clear that water is. You can see some of the fish that's swimming in it. It's really beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in one of these boats. Um, it's gonna cost for me and Philly to get over there. It's gonna cost us 5,000 gooch which is like 50 bucks American. We could have got it for cheaper, but hey, it's American price. You already know how the game goes here. All right. Where we at right here? <laughs> hey. uh, uh. My friend, my friend, He's coming with us, that's a driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's yeah. up, what's up? We go right here, play ball, what's up? You with it, hey. Okay, you live in paradise, you don't even know it, man. Look at that, uh, man, you can see the rocks. It's like maybe 12. 13, 15 feet, and I can see the rocks from here, guys. That just lets you know how serious, how awesome this place is in terms of water. Yeah, baby. All right, play boy, I see you. Hold it down. BOP, hold it down. Yo. <laughs> Feels good to be. Uh, oh, let me let me do this one second. Ah, this is the land of uh, my family, my mother. You know, there was a Haitian folktale, right, that said if you were light-skinned, because my mom's light-skinned, that you couldn't swim in these areas because mermaids would get you. So hopefully we can find some mermaids. Me, I'm not light-skinned. None of us here are light-skinned. But we'll try to see if we can find some mermaids. Huh? Some mermaids off the coast of Haiti. Put my hand on. Maybe they'll grab me. Come on, mermaid. Come get your boy. Come get your boy. Come get your boy, mermaid. <laughs> you ever heard a, a story of mermaid? Yeah, yeah. What you heard about mermaids? They're living like little, they put little huts like that. That's what I heard. You heard mermaids live in huts? They live underground, but they land, they land up there. They said that if you're if you're light skinned, they would allow the kids to um, swim or take a bath in these waters because they would get kidnapped by mermaids. I can show you this shoreline. Maybe when I come back, I'll put the drone out. But you can see all these different hotels and different home houses up on the hill. This is really prime real estate right here. Prime real estate. Prime real estate. Right here. Prime real estate. 
this thing. This is the thing they don't want to show you in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Well, the reason why is because probably in the future they might need to, they need to move over here or something like that. If you get a chance, guys, come check out Haiti, man. You won't be disappointed. All you got to do is take the proper crosses and everything. You'll be all right in Haiti, man. It's a beautiful place, man. It's an untapped paradise. I didn't notice it, but look, this is the anchor right here. This big rush. It's called rush, a rush, but it's a big rock. of zombies right actually there is a blowfish here that the Haitians like to grab right and they sell it in the mainland and inside the blowfish there's a special type of toxin that can induce people to feel like they're dead oh yeah and so people think they're dead uh -huh. and what happens is the people who know about this toxin use it to their advantage okay. so someone dies and people go crazy they like quickly bury that guy and then that guy or the person wakes up in some form of crazy trance a couple maybe a day later or i don't know how long but they wake up in the in the in the cemetery in the grave and to them they feel like they died and got back to life and the person that the witch doctor or something is out there like yo i'm your new owner or something like that and then they then they put that person on a some form of drug trance of uh, slavery. Wow. Not saying that still happens, but that was something that they did. It was happening in the past. You saw the movie Serpent in the Rainbow. No. That's what the Serpent in the Rainbow was a movie about what you were talking about. Okay. Yeah. But you're right about that, wow. No, they, what they did in the movie. Same thing like you said, uh, they would put people in a trance from that fish or whatever they and then they would bring them back to life and they would be a slave for the, the Voodoo doctor. Yo guys, check this out. Oh my gosh. Looks like there's a nice little spotlight on it. Check out the water too, guys. Nice. But check out this water, man. This is the water we came for, man. Look at this. Super great. It took like 40 minutes to get 40 here. minutes, yeah, it was a little faster. You know what I mean? But you can get one of those boats if you want to get here a little quicker and less rocky, rockier. Ah! <laughs> Are you taking shoes off, man? I'm all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, wow, I didn't even get wet. Huh? What? Oh, it got wet at the end, yeah! Oh, man, guys. So we finally made it here. Uh, Amiga Island. Amiga Island. It looks a little bigger now. It looks small, H. Eh? It's beautiful, man. Beautiful place. And uh, it's hot, though. Very sure. Very sure. Very sure. sure. Very hot. Let's, uh, let's find a place so we can sit down. So check this out, guys. This guy here is one of the locals that uh, maintains this island. And he, he actually comes in with this boat. Man, that's a lot of work right here. This is a crab, that's crab. What? I mean, that's lobster, that's lobster. Lobster and that's crab. Lobster, lobster and crab. Wow. Lobster. <laughs> they just came out for that boat right here, man. That's super yeah. dope. Hey guys, so this guy's from the boat actually bought some type of fish here. Check this out. Fuck. They are amazing. I've never, but this is the fish that kind of looks like that blowfish I was talking about. Look at all these different type of fish here. And then you got all of these. Oh, oh look at this. Oh my God. One of those three. Little big boy. How much for the big boy right here? My boy, yeah. Same on my Monday. I'm only asking I'm not picking up anything. No, same on Sa. Pusa. Same on Sa. 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 Whoa. Say Sa. Yes, Sa. Pui Pusa. Monday, Pui Pusa. They're trying to figure out how they're gonna finesse us. Yeah. Really done. It's yeah. gonna charge us, man. We speak a lot of English, boy. They gonna break go up. Oh, oh my God. And good, how much? That's more than good. This is big. Pop thunder, old papale. He wants you to feel how heavy it is. I know. Is. In the states, this would be like. 40, 50 bucks for it. They charge by the pound in them. Okay, okay, so all right, let's find out. Let's see what, what they say. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. They give us a deal, we might get it, and if they, they they'll they cook it for you right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, uh, upa pale crayon. Yeah. So two bag okay, la nu. 
2,500 goods. Yeah, I know. 25, basically. $25. 25. $25 US. Told you. Okay. They can sell these by the What is it you think? Is good? Oh, 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. It's kind of fair, yeah. We? Okay, okay, okay. This one right here look dangerous. Lionfish. Lionfish by Game Poisson? How much for that? He said he, he know how to cook that and take the poison out of that. What do sa ave sa? And then we'll try the lionfish. You die together, Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, they know how to cook it. Brother. We don't die together with it. Yeah, brother. Yeah, we, 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 we. <laughs> no, they know how to cook it. Out here thugging it. Out here yeah, trying to get this food. You know what I'm saying? We barely speak Creole out yeah, here. Yeah, they're trying to survive out here. We want to show love too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No problem. Ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no problem. Ain't no show no, some love to the fisherman. The pirate. The, the pirates. The pirates. <laughs> they came in a pirate boat. Right there. Okay. So let's check out the pirates' boats right here. The Haitian pirate boat. Wow. Okay, boss. Okay. Pirate boat. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> I almost got ran over by that. Look at this. Look at here. Hey, look, they got all this fish right here hanging out. Let me know if you can recognize any of this fish hanging here. This is all handmade, guys. Bamboo. And okay, and these are this yeah. everything from the tree. Ma. Keep on keep friendly, woman. No, boss. Okay, he got a boss that made the uh, the boat, but it's all handmade, guys. Look at this. You can see. The nails over there. Here, okay, guys. I don't know what this is about, but if you understand what this is about, let me know. Okay, guys. Wow, look at all these exotic fishes this guy has in here. Yeah. She's here. No, I'm not gonna be feeling like Haitian fishes is exotic out here. And somehow, in a secluded island, Philly Don is able to find something to drink. This is incredible. Yeah. How are you able to find these things? You're like the Black Highlander. Yeah. Instead of swords, you pull out beer. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever come to Haiti, you will fall in love with this beer right here. If you see how they catch this fish, they dive in the water. They got to go back in the ocean. They go to a shot, not a shallow area, but a water they can see clear into the ground. They dive into the water and grab the crabs from like the bottom or wherever they're at. It's amazing. Nice. Every now and then they might use a spare, but they usually do it by hand. Haitians are some crafty people, man. Guys, we're going into a secret location. Where are we going, Philly? We're going to uh, so where they cook the, the crab and the fish for us. So you got to go through this bush right here yeah, to get know. there. Could be a setup, I don't know. All right. But well, we got our weapons, right? Yeah, we got prestige. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. 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 Oh, All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good chef. Good chef. Good chef. Okay. No, don't go chef kissing here. I don't know. Who is it? Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Look at this guy. That's the big fish. Oh, Christian not really fish, yeah. Pass on, sir. Okay. These are paraquet fishes right here. Mm. Oh, yes. this is the fried plantain right here. Man, but none. So that's the spicy sauce they're gonna have if you want it. I went to a place called Palenque. It's a town by Cartagena in Colombia. And the woman, mm. she was cooking reminiscent to this. There's a lot of people cook like this. It's just super mm. dope. It just reminds me because of the smell and the burning of mm. the wood and everything, guys really good so guys this is the poison fish right here mm -hmm. all right my mom will kick my butt up, man. trying this wow this is going to okay right. here we go oh 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 he's opening it up oh. okay mm. So let's find out how poisonous this thing is. Mm. I don't want no juice to flip over me. Be careful there. <laughs> Listen. Mmm. Okay. Wow. You see this how you open it? You open it. Wow. Camina fe camina. Yeah. Just pulling it out. Wow. I'm not gonna ask him to concentrate on. Yeah. You know, they experts. They've been doing this for years. He's pulling the poison out of the fish, guys. He's gutting it out right, right now. He's gutting the fish out. I know how to do that. Let me see how good he is. Let me see. Give him a grade, Philly. 
Right now he's doing good. He's like a bee. Bee. It's not perfect, but good. You know, he put it in water, but he's doing it good. Yeah. Ufili? Yeah. Good poison. Pas ça, pas gagné poisson. Ça pas gagné poisson. Non. Ah, tout un point c'est ça gagné poisson. Pas gagné. Oh. He said he ain't got no poison in it, but if it does, guys, comment down below. Let me know. All right. Let me make sure we gonna be all right. Okay. Eat it, man. Hey, this guy remind me of a a photo in Mexico. Uh, you get a photo in Mexico? Sambe who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah same way. Exactly. There's a photo, there's a picture of this guy. There's a statue of a guy that looks just like him. All right, Maybe guys? Yes. Say bye, way? Say bye, way? Say bye, way. Yo, get inside Mexico. Yeah. He Mexican. Sambe who? Family who? Who fuck go there? Family man. They trip because the guy looks like him. Monwa, Makone. Monwa. Oh no, no, it's about Mexico. No, I see. He says I should do. Oh man, guys. Can't make this up. Is he smoking cigarettes? Yo! He was smoking cigarettes in the water. I saw a smoke come out this man's mouth. What fool, man? Check this out, this big chunk of meat that just ripped it out. He was tasting some water. How did it taste like? Delicious, man. Nice and soft. They put some kind of flavor in there. They put some kind of a seasoning or mm. something. Mm. From the ocean. And it's fresh. I got these guys contact, so I'll put it in the description. If you want to set up food here, I'm gonna let them know, hey, coming through. coming through, can you have some food set up for us? So I'll say this, guys, before you do anything, before you even show up, make sure everything you do, price is set, and you're comfortable paying. But if not, it's gonna be a problem. Or if not, don't get mad if they give you a higher price. Before you do anything, take a taxi, order some food, make sure you know what the price is of everything. If you even have to record it on your phone, so you make sure you didn't, it was a no no misunderstanding. But everything first before know the money first. I must value whatever you get in cost before you actually get it, because it could cause a lot of problems down here. And it's not just Haiti; it's all a lot of countries that we go they to. They do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's try some of this. Um, this 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 right here. That's the one. Okay, this is the poison fish right here. I'm gonna try. All right, man. See you in the other world. Oh, he already ate it. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. This man. Mm. 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 These guys be seasoned the hell out of this. It's so good. It's so seasoned. Oh, oh, oh. I'm dying. I'm playing with you. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Okay. You get the other piece, brother. All right. Oh my god. Yeah, water's good. We need water. Mm. 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 So sweet, guys. Mm. Uh, very good. Mm. You like the flavor? It's the season that they, I don't know how they did it, but they put some kind of liquid season. I mean, I mean, obviously liquid, but it's really good. It's excellent, man. All right, guys, let me go in the water and see how it is. Perhaps we can find some mermaids. Water is so beautiful here, guys. Sand is so soft to sitting here, but there is a ditch, okay? Literally, if you walk maybe, maybe two more feet, it goes deep in. So, if you got young kids, just pay attention to them. They could be here, hanging out here. Uh, the waves don't come in too hard, so you don't have to worry about waves bringing them in. Play right here, it's cool. 
Um, but right here, it gets deep, so you, you need to know how to swim, but it's, the, the waves are not rough, okay? It's, it's quite... Oh yeah, I hit with the crack and the cigarettes. This is bad Why is biking? Oh man. <laughs> to our hero, we, we found his match. He doesn't have a beard like this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Okay, let's see how this goes down. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> You can see now. Okay, now. Okay. Okay. You can't breathe. No, you gotta breathe. Oh. Hey, get it, get it. Because you moved the dead holes. It's it gonna be stuck. Take your time to learn it. Let me see. Haitian Viking. <laughs> Alright, we'll show the, wider, uh, the Viking how to do it. <laughs> All right, Philly, we're leaving. So, rate the trip. Uh, this is a 10. I rate it as a 10 because you got your privacy. There's not many people on the island. Everybody was friendly. The food was amazing. The water, swimming in the water, the salt water here was amazing. What was the best part? The best, in the, um, swimming in the ocean. Swimming in the ocean. Yes. Okay. Then the food, number two. Oh, food was well flavored, man. I'll let you know tomorrow, or leave a comment if uh, I'm feeling some type of way tomorrow okay. with the food. But yeah, we'll let you know, man. How we feeling about the food? But right now, it, it's it's, it's so good. It's feeling well. Yeah, I don't feel nothing. This is Haiti, guys. Like it or not, or you upset? This is Haiti. This parts of Haiti. This is what Haiti has to offer, and I want to show you more. So today, my mom just found out I was in Haiti. She did not. She was not happy. Okay. She was not happy, uh, and I can understand why she wanted at least to know I'm here. I'm, mommy, I'm safe, and you know you want to come here. I'm going to bring you here, okay? I'm going to bring you here one day, all right? <laughs> I am the captain of my ship! Let's go! Check this out, I want you to see something. Check this out. This is Haiti, all right? They don't want you to know this is Haiti, all right? They're gonna continue to show you other stuff, all right? As much craziness you see in Haiti, there's a lot of awesomeness. And check this out right here, guys. Wow. So guys, we made it to Belly Beach. It seems to be a cool place for the youngsters to hang out. And I can see why, beautiful decor. All right, clear water right here. What's up, boss? And they got people selling all type of stuff you can eat. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> young chicks hanging out, doing their thing, doing their TikTok. 
So this is a little cool beach party. As you can see, everybody's going crazy. A lot of young people are having a good time. Uh, okay, got a couple girls doing a little twerk a -thon. We should have came here, huh? Yeah, we should have came here, man. Hey, hey, we could have we 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 cleaned up. We done messed up. We no, we'll, we'll no, figure no, something no, tomorrow. We'll, we'll figure something <laughs> out tomorrow. <laughs> The Haitian Viking told me when the big boats come, yeah. the cruise lines, this is something they use to bring um, some of their passengers around to the different islands and the different beaches along the coast right here. Looks super comfortable, all right. So they got a uh, squeeze right in here. Basically pushing the boats out of the way. All right. Okay. Let me take care of these guys. 